Sonia Mugabo studied visual communication and graphic design in school, but it's clear that this Rwandan-born designer has a passion for fashion. Inspired by her love of unusual combinations, her debut collection, appropriately called Mix and Match, makes florals with geometric patterns, traditional wax kitenge with flowier, silkier materials. The last year's collection was mostly Victorian and like florals, very feminine. I'm very feminine, so I really try to show that in my clothes, in the cuts. They usually really complement the woman figure, and it was just choosing, select, like mixing prints and just choosing whatever I was feeling like at that moment. And then I really didn't think I'd get as much hype, as much, you know, appreciation, which I really appreciated so much. But then when I saw the reviews and everyone like, you know, telling me your work was amazing, that really inspired me to keep pushing and like keep working. And here I am today working on my new collection. This collection was one of the most popular of last year's Kigali Fashion Week, demanding the attention of local and international media and fashionistas alike. But of course, with much success comes many challenges. I don't personally know how to sew, so I have to work with tailors who can bring my sketches or my ideas to life. So that has been a challenge, finding tailors who really understand what I want. And then also, I guess, like you said, it's not really, people don't, they, the buying culture here is very new. They would rather buy stuff from Zara or people, things abroad. So encouraging them to buy my stuff too. So that's also been challenging. It's true that fashion is still a growing industry here in Rwanda. And it can be said that Sonia's lugs designs are above most Rwandans' means. I decided to find out why she decided to take this route. I really appreciate clothes, and I design everything I design is something I can wear myself. And like you said, it's really new. I think that's an advantage for people like you know young designers. I feel like we're the pioneering designers in Rwanda. We'll be hopefully in 50 years from now. We'll be like the Chanel's in Rwanda because we're the first ones who decided to do it. So I felt like this was the perfect timing for me to be able to start my own thing with that something I'm passionate about, but it also, it's also a business, you know. I'm selling to make money. Yeah. So I want to bring those skills I learned from the States and bring them here. If, it, if it's with designing, maybe inspire young girls to become designers as well, or even create employment with my tailors, for example. I would want my company to grow big, so the bigger it becomes, the more people I can employ, and that way we'll, be, we'll both be happy. I decided to take a sneak peek of her new collection before they make their big debut, and to try on a bit of her old collection. One thing can't be disputed. This could easily be one of the most highly anticipated collection of this year's event. Excited to see what she has in store. Makeda Mahadio, Rise and Shine Rwanda.